Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm sharing with you my top apps for social media. I have like a lot more apps I could go through, but these are my top ones that I use for my feed and mainly Instagram. But they're just good like photo apps as well as like um, organizing your feed, finding inspiration and all that. Plus, all these are free, so that's like a plus. And with these apps, I'll show you like a little tutorial on how I would use it. But then like, of course, when you use it, you can just add your own style and use it how you like. I think the first app I'll share is Snapseed, and that's what I mainly use to edit my photos. So let's say I have this like photo here, and this one I just uploaded, but I'm starting from scratch. And usually I go for a pretty natural edit. And I have these filters here already that I usually use, like BO3. So like, these are just filters. And I mainly use BO3. They don't really have names for them, but I mainly use BO3 and maybe like LO3 and then like maybe XO1 is a cooler toned. But those are presets I made and they're not hard to make because I did used to use Visco for my filters, but that one, they like did a subscription plan and like I would have gotten it, but like I didn't need all that anyway, so I just used this app. So to create the filters, I go to grainy film and then I turn the grain all the way down and then style strength and then I turn that down to like usually about 40, but I would go lower, like maybe, maybe 35, 35 is good. So there you can see the before and after on one of them. On BO3, here's a couple more, but let's just stick with BO3. And then like the photo's a little dark, so we can, sometimes I use the curves to lighten or darken it. I'll just like do it like subtly, but if you wanna add more, you can go to tune image so it's more fine, adjust the brightness and stuff. Um, there's also shadows. You can lift the shadows. And again, right, you can just click the before and after. But these are like all your different options to fine tune it. And I mean, I don't really have to do much to the image. I'm just showing you guys how the app works. Like I would probably take like a lot longer if I was really editing this. I would be like getting in there but another tool I really like is the brush tool which is really cool and I haven't found on any other app but you can go and adjust like dodge and burn which like you have as tools in Photoshop and if you want something like darker like let's say what I, edit? I mean maybe this one I'll like make my lips a little less washed out so just go in with the burn tool and it's just a little bit darker and then you can a lot of people use the saturation and then like go around the background and that'll turn down but then there's also the temperature option where you can also turn it down oh, that's a little too blue but you can see the before and after of that that just like lets you fine-tune like stuff around it because I usually shoot with my iPhone so I don't have like a lot of control of like um, everything in the environment so this one kind of helps me fine-tune that um, is there anything else also the perspective tool is pretty cool on this one because if you turn it it will fill in the space around it and also the there's the portrait option which kind of like makes it focus on your face and this image doesn't really need it but for some like outfits like OOTD sometimes the face is a little dark with um, in contrast to the background so sometimes this is nice but this app also gives you an option to view all your edits so either you can like get rid of everything or resume and then export and there's options to save it save as a copy and export it so that's the app I mainly use to edit all my photos um, I don't really have a specific specific like filter or aesthetic I kind of just edit it kind of natural and just base it off on the image I just I've always done the same thing just kind of brighten it maybe like uh, I do like warmer edits but the app is pretty versatile so you can use it for your style so the next app I use is Unum it's like U-N-U-M 
but I haven't really planned my feed before. I just kind of like went with it and kind of flowed, but now I'm just using it more to like kind of help it clean up. A lot of influencers will have like a lot of photos taken and then plan it out. I usually don't have that many photos, I just take it as I go, but when I do, or um, I'm trying to organize my feed a little just to see what it'll look like, this app is really helpful. So for instance, um, this is my feed and it shows what I've already uploaded, but for instance like this is a filler photo so I can see like which one looks better. So if I want to add a photo, of course there's like a hundred of the same photo, but let's say, let's just choose this one. Add it in, see how it looks like next to it. And then you can even click on it. I don't really use the edit options, but you can edit the photos like right in the app. There are these options here. Also, if you want to use it to post at a certain time, which I don't, I usually put it in, see how it looks, and then post it on my own. But this also has the option to do that. I think like this one, you can add a caption right here. You can add a caption. But this is the free version of the app. So this is like a certain amount of grids you get. But I mean, this I never really run out or I need any more. But I'm sure if you have more photos, it would be nice. So there are like subscription plans, but you can also have more than one account on here, which is nice too. The next app I've like used before, but I haven't really used recently is PixArt. And that's like what a lot of people have been using to make like the artsy kind of edits. A lot of people would use like the stickers I've seen. Like these heart ones also the draw tool you can just choose white do whatever scribbles you want but that's a good app if you like that style this just has like a lot of options on its own like text cut out extra tools you can use which is really cool. So I mean, that's just a good app with like a lot of stuff on it as well. Plus it's like free and it gives you a bunch of options. So I mainly just use like two apps back and forth and just one to mainly edit. And I also do some like post processing once I get into Instagram. Once I'm in Instagram, I will like definitely sharpen the image because I don't know why it always like ends up a little blurry once I put it in Instagram. Again, I might lift the shadows. But I might also go in with the color sometimes. And that kind of gives it a cool like vintage effect. Depending on the color you use, I just went for the yellow. So let's see how that looks. With orange or green. But like usually with every photo, I just play around with it and see what fits that photo. Again, I might do brightness or something, but I don't really need it in on this photo. And then I'll just go ahead and post that. So even the Instagram app itself has some good options, especially like if you wanted to save it as a draft too. So another good app that I just started using is Pinterest. I It was always like around, but I've never really gotten to it until we needed to use it for our graphic design class. So there's actually, so this is just like my feed and you can see there's a blend of like, well there's random ads, but there's also like some fashion inspo and some like design inspo like that's a graphic design inspo but this is really nice because um it does give you if i'm stuck on an outfit or something or i just like scrolling and seeing what's new it's a it's a cool option because i use it for design at first but like this is really cute i've been loving like socks for like crew socks for the winter so that's pretty cute and then once you scroll down you get even more options and then if you like something i think i saw something up here i liked and of course emily her pants are really cute so i can just save it add it to otd and this is my feed some design stuff got like snucked in there but there you go I even like get stuck on outfits sometimes, so I have to look here for some ideas. There's no shame in like looking somewhere else for inspo. But like this is also for my magazine, so some design inspo for the magazine. So even if you're stuck on something, I'll go to search, go to like 
let's see, I just got a cheetah print coat. And you can see what outfits might go with that. Like all of these are really cute. Let's see, this one was really cute with the red boots. And then, so is this one. So again, that just gives you inspo. It's a really good way to find like outfits. And then the next step I'm sharing is Depop. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but it's basically like you're like reselling clothes and it's more of a social network on Depop. It kind of looks like Instagram with like an explore page and a feed and you can just shop clothes. But I, um, they have like really cool finds on here, but I also use it just to sell my personal clothes because I'm always cycling through items and I'll just post them on here. I'm in college so I can always use some extra cash for food or something like that, but um, how it works is, so with Depop, let's say we want to sell the blazer in that photo we just took, so we can just put blazer, of course you need to be more descriptive than that, but for categories, we put women's wear, tops, um, brand, it's thrifted so I don't really put a brand, and brand's optional to put size, I'll just put around a small, but I can check later. Um, delivery, this is really nice because a lot of times when you're selling clothes, delivery costs can run up a lot. But in Depop, you can set shipping. So with shipping, all you have to do is like print out the label and you don't have to worry about delivery costs. And then item price, let's just put it for 20 And then you'll just list it from there. So with Depop, you already have an audience out there you're already selling to and that can find you, which makes it easier to sell the clothes. And this is good for anybody. just wanting to get rid of uh, stuff in the closet and I also use it on items that I like lost the receipt to and I can't return but I don't really want it so I'll put it there. A lot of items like I haven't even worn before, I usually don't put anything on there that's like too worn or anything and I honestly don't keep my clothes for long so this is good for people that just like like clothes but you know you'll just like wear the like couple outfits you have in mind and then just like never wear it again so that's what I use it for. Um, and then I think the last like little additional app I'll share is Octoly. It's just like free beauty products for in return for a post. So you can see there is a feed of stuff and I haven't used it recently but I used to use it a lot when I was like getting into beauty and I was like trying to like test out a bunch of stuff. So like let's see most popular. Um, the long comb highlighter looks really pretty. So you can just like see a little description of what it is. Hit order now and then choose the color you're interested in, your account, and then like why you want this product, you just put in a little comment, scroll down and then accept. And then it'll like put in a request for it. As you can see here, you can see like what I've reviewed before. Some like concealers, lipsticks, a lot of the stuff I still use and still like. And then I think you need a certain amount of followers, but I think they just lowered it to either maybe 5,000, 10,000. But that's just like a quick little extra app that you might be interested in. But those are mainly all the apps that I use to edit my photos, um, get some inspiration, organize my feed and all that. So I hope you guys maybe learned something. Um, try it out one of these apps for yourself. If you have any other suggestions to share with us for cool apps, leave it below. But besides that, let me know if you guys have any more questions or what you'd like to see next. And thank you guys for watching. Bye!